Hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel once again with another new topic that is regarding urine analysis MCQs for your prometric so before starting the video I would like to request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel and let's move on to our today's video our first question is the best preservative used for chemical constituent is option A taolol option B thymol option C formalin and option D boric acid friends here uh, it is they are asking regarding the best preservative used for chemical constants preservative for not for urine they are asking for chemical constant so your option uh, c is your right answer that is option c formalin is the best preservative used for chemical constants so moving on to our next second question the urine preservative which cause false positive reaction in proteins false po positive reaction in proteins option a tolol option b thymol option c formalin and option d boric acid so your right answer is option b that is thymol will give you false positive reaction in proteins next moving on to our third question urine color turns milky due to the presence of what urine color will turn Na normally we'll see that urine will be in pale yellow in color but uh, if the urine turns in milky means what what is the condition of the patient because of what option a purent genitourinary tract diseases option b chyluria option c all of the above and option d none of the above so uh, here the right answer is answer c that is all the above that is option a and b is the right answer because of these two conditions the urine color will turns milky okay moving on to our next question that is fourth question greenish colored urine is found in if some of the patients they are getting greenish colored urine so what will be the reason for the cause option a is jaundice option b phenol poisoning option c all of the above and option d none of the above so your right answer is all of the above that is option a because of jaundice also they may get greenish color and because of the phenol poisoning also they may get uh, greenish color in the urine so next move on to our next question that is fruity order in urine is due to fruity order if you are getting the fruity order means nothing but smell okay uh, next uh, option is option a ketosis option b uh, glucosaria option c bacterial infection and option d all so fruity order in urine is due to the ketosis so moving on to our next question the product of incomplete fat metabolism or known as product of incomplete fat metabolism is option a ketone bodies option b urobilinogen option c both and option d none so your right answer is option a that is ketone bodies next next question name type of ketone bodies present in urine option a acetone option b acetoacetic acid option c beta hydrobutyric acid and option d all so the ketone bodies which are present in the urine is option c is the right answer that is beta hydrobutyric acid so moving on to our next question ketonuria or indicative of what option a ketoacidosis option b polyuria option c none option d all the above so your answer is option a that is because of ketoacidosis ketonuria or the indicative for the ketoacidosis option a next moving on to our next question when a glycosuria is more than 2 plus in juvenile diabetes juvenile diabetes is nothing but the diabetes which will be getting in the youngsters to nowadays diabetes is common for everyone not only in uh, old patients but also in the youngsters we can find the diabetes that type of diabetes we are calling in here as juvenile diabetes unchecked ketone bodies may lead to option a coma option b renal failure option c heart failure and option d none so here the right option is option a coma so uh, if uh, the juvenile diabetes uh, glycosuria is more than two plus in the juvenile diabetes in that person they may lead to coma moving on to our next question the method used to detect ketone bodies in urine are option a rotheras test option b legal's test option c paper strip and option d diacetic uh, acid option e all so your option is all right answer is 
all so moving on to our next question the average 24 hours urine urine urinary output in an adult is option a 1200 to 1500 ml option b 500 to 1200 ml option c 2500 to 3500 ml and option d 1000 to 2000 ml normal urine output in an individual should be option a 1200 to 1500 ml per day <coughs> okay friends next moving on to our next question the urine volume more than 2000 ml is termed as some of the people will be getting you know frequently they'll be getting the urine just like in diabetics patients they'll be getting that is also a kind of indication for the that so the person is having a diabetes if the person is getting more than the 2000 ml of the urine per day that condition what they will be termed as your option is option a polyuria option b oligouria option c polyuria uh, option A polyuria, option B oligouria, option C anuria and option D nocturia. So your right answer is option A polyuria. That is poly means many urea. Matlab frequently, many times polyuria. They will be getting urine so that they will be crossing their limit 2000 ml per day. That condition, that term is known as polyuria. Moving on to our next question. Urine excretion less than 500 ml less than 500 ml is known as option a anuria option b nocturia option c polyuria and option d oligouria if the urine ml is urine quantity volume is less than 500 ml that is less than the normal level that is 500 ml that condition we are giving uh, it termed as a option d oligouria okay next moving on to our next question the complete session of urine formation is known as complete session of the urine formation is known as what option a polyuria option b oligouria option c anuria and option d nocturia so your right answer is option c anuria okay some person will not getting the urine that condition we are terming it as a anuria okay so the next question is the condition in which excretion of urine is more than 500 ml with less than 1.018 specific gravity at night is night at night the person's specific gravity that is ph level will be decreasing that condition is called as what option a polyuria option b oligouria option c anuria and option d nocturia so here at night time if the specific gravity uh, will be less than 1.018 that condition we are referring here as a nocturia so the right answer is answer d nocturia so friends these are the 15 uh, mcqs from urine analysis mcqs so hope you like it uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel uh, we'll be back in part two another 15 questions in our part two regarding from urine analysis okay thank you friends